click is ETG. Eat the goose. Yeah, Introducing the, the two First racks a week yeah, challenge. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. What y'all need some proof? What? Just watch my videos, man. Video and then two no, racks a just week. showing all your 2500, 2500. I said, yeah, okay. All right, that's what I can get with that. 68 I'm hours, so it was $2,075.16. Yeah, I work. Okay like 70 i don't remember like 73 74 hours i made uh like 3400 close to 3500 i made 2001 dollars 60 62 hours and i had uh 20 2400 introducing the two racks a week challenge All righty, all righty, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. Man, y'all know what time it is. Here we have another winner of the two racks a week challenge, man. We are here. We have my boy Eric. Eric, do a quick introduction. Let him know what platform you drive on and which market you drive in. Yeah, my name is Eric. Yeah, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Been here for 19 years, originally from San Diego. And I, you, you know what? I love this place, man. It's uh, it's, it's kind of hard to leave this place. It's a, it's a beautiful city, man. Beautiful city. But, you know, you get your hot days and your cold days out here. But right now, it's like it feels like California weather right now. Okay. Not too shabby. And uh, which platform do you drive on? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I drive for uh, Lyft and Uber. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So um, <clears throat> before we even get into the numbers, you know, just a quick little backstory. Uh, what exactly, you know, made you get into doing a ride share? You know, I was a school bus driver at the time. And, uh, you know, like other bus drivers of just like 2016. And I was asking other bus drivers, hey, how's, uh, you know, doing Uber and Lyft? And uh, drivers like saying like, uh, hey, man, it's, it's pretty good. You, you can make some decent money on the side. I was like, all right, you know, I'll give it a try. So, you know, like one week I did it, dude, I, I made more uh, than a bus driver did. The mm. bus driver salary, is, it's like being a bus driver, man, it's like a uh, school bus driver, um, mind you, it's really hard work because you're dealing with so many students, man. It's just really crazy. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so let's go, let's go back in time. So somebody told you, oh yeah, we making good money driving uh, Uber or Lyft. You know, you uh signed up. Yeah, well, did you that particular week when you made more than being a bus driver? Were you driving Uber or were you driving Lyft? Oh, you know, I started off as a Uber driver. Okay. And what's hilarious? What's hilarious is I was driving a manual car. That's my first. That's how I started with okay. Uber. And people were like amazed, like, "Wait, you're driving a stick?" I'm like, "Yeah." Like, it's like, that's the first time you've ever seen an Uber driver driving a manual car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I did the same thing for a few months out here. So I trust me, I know exactly what you uh what you mean. <clears throat> so um, once you, you know, you signed up for Uber, you, you tr uh, drove for, uh, was it like 40 hours? Do you remember exactly how many hours you drove for that your first week when you made more? Um, You know what? Actually, uh, for Uber, I drove for uh, 30 hours. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, and I had like another 20 hours with uh, Lyft. So the, the market here was actually like it, it was on fire, man. Like I, I'll see like $30, we call it uh, surges going around Las Vegas. Damn. And I was just like, you know what? I was patient enough to just, you know, snipe the ones that are really good. And, you know, okay. uh, for me, I, I stay away from strip because the strip is crazy because I don't know if you heard that they're having the F1 racing out here. And they're repaving a lot of the roads and the construction here is just crazy. And so uh, I have a moto, I have like strip, no trip. So, you know, okay. that's <laughs> strip, no trip. <laughs> All right. That's cool, man. So, you know, you start, you start driving, you made more your first week. Do you remember exactly how much money did you make like your first week driving? Uh, you know what? Uh, that's a good question. You know what? I just went with the flow, man. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just like looking like, uh, I was like, oh, okay. I made a little here or there. And then, uh, it, you know, like when it gets to the weekend, 
that's mm-hmm. when it, uh, it starts getting really crazy. That's when you start making uh, more of your money. Okay. Because, uh, you, yeah, usually the weekdays are a little slow, but, you know, uh, you still can make something, you know. The, you, like you, you say, if you pull, like, 12 hours, you know, a day, you, you, you can make, you can make, you can make 400 if you want to. Right. Or right. more. Yeah. 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 yeah I 100%, uh, 100% agree with that. It's all about, you know, your mindset and how much uh, time and effort that you put in. So um, <clears throat> how long did it take for you to transition to doing Uber and Lyft full time, you know, because once you because you said um, you signed up, you made more money than what you were currently making. How long did it take for you to transition and quit being a bus driver and just doing this full time? Well, well I, I tested like maybe like a month or two just to see oh, where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if I was making at least a thousand plus, that's when I was like, say, like a, a week, I was like, say, hey, man, it's like, what's the point of even being a a school bus driver man it's just you know wh- why i have to deal with screaming kids i could just do this and just deal with you know you know three you know like one two three or four people in my vehicle and it's no problem with that right right and you could deal yeah, with versus like, <laughs> yeah because I, I i had to deal with like 90 plus students sometimes in, mm-hmm. in a school bus and you, you talk about screaming kids oh my god i felt like my head was gonna explode right right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I already know. I mean, <laughs> I was a kid, and I, I know how it is on the school bus, yelling, throwing stuff, fighting. So I can only imagine, oh, yeah. you know, uh, some of those, uh, you know, tributes or whatever. So, you know, it took you two months. You're like, all right, the hell with this. You know, I could easily make two, uh, not two racks. I could easily make more money than I, what I'm currently making. So once you made the transition to quit, who exactly – did you tell first and what were their opinions about you uh, leaving your job to do ride share? You know, yeah, I told my family and like, I said, you know what? I, I told them like, you know what? I don't think uh, we call that school bus thing is cutting out. I was like, uh, you know, I'm making pretty good money doing uh, Uber. I was like, I'm, I'm thinking it's just starting uh, doing this. You know, my family's cool with it. You know, they ain't having problems, but you know, like I, I got my dad to do an Uber and you know, like, like when the pandemic happened, he was, really like a you know like didn't want me to do it anymore because he just thought like it it wasn't a real job and i asked him what's a real job yeah i was like "Uh, look i'm making all this money and you're telling me this is not a real job it's just like come on really yeah what what was his response to the real job oh he 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 just brushed it off as like what you know like a whatever you know it's like yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like whatever. It's, you know, you know, right. he's just happy. Like, you know what? As long as I'm, you know, he sees me, you know, bills being paid and all that stuff, it, it didn't really uh bother me. He, he doesn't even talk about it anymore. He we're like we're we're super cold, like no problems, you know, there's there's no problems with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, most people they they not gonna have an answer for what a real job is. You know, they just pretty much regurgitate and repeat what other people say. You know, Dan, until you really challenge on um on well, their. Well, actually, their you know what? I, I do remember. I, I sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I do remember what he was like saying because okay. you know what he was talking about because you don't have any benefits. So in like that word it. benefits, that kind of real. Yes, and he was just like, "There's no real benefits to to it." I was like, "You know what? I have my own health care. I'm paying for my own health care. It's not that hard. It's like." You know, people always look at it. It's like, it's not that hard to get, you know, health benefits. And it's, you know, you're going to be paying the same exact thing, no matter what. So exactly. I, I don't see to, and I said, I, I I invest most of my money. So it's like, uh, you know, I, I'm saving up for my future. So, you know, the, by the time I retire, at least I got, you know, I got money to write to, uh, retire from, you know, it's like, and that, that's what I have to let them know that. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, mm-hmm. it's just, you know, yeah, my, my 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 dad, he's a nine to five guy, you know, and that's that's all he sees. It's just, you know, he doesn't he doesn't want to see me, you know, like stuck on this forever, you know. It's like, well, you know, I have I I have other plans too. It's like I I don't want to drive forever, you know. I, I, it's like that's why I'm I'm doing this is like start my own business as well too. So this is a great platform, you know, to start, you know. So if people are doing this, I mean, this is great. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, I I hundred percent agree with that, man. Because like I said earlier, you know, most people, they latch on to the the, the typical nine to five or getting something that's stable or with, with some good benefits. But I think the number one benefit is, 
you know, you working for yourself and you figuring things out because everything that you could do for that a company gives you as far as health care, uh, you know, 401k or, you know, any type of uh, retirement fund, you could easily fund it yourself. That's what a lot of people don't know. But I think most people are scared to take that leap of faith and, uh, you know, yeah. depend on themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, like you say, if you're making two racks a week, uh, there shouldn't be any problem for you even like uh, have a hard time paying for uh, health insurance as well too. Right. You know, I understand if you know if you have like you know kids and stuff like that it might be a little different. But you know, if your wife is working or you know you know there'll be a plus. Or you know, if she already has health benefits on the side from her job, I mean that's even better. Yeah. Yep, I hundred percent agree. So two more questions before we even get to these numbers. First, first question is, how did you even find out about the two racks a week challenge? Oh, you know what? It's hilarious because um, you always talk about like, you know, there's a lot of negative people on, you know, these uh, um, uh, uh, the lot, you know, on the live chats and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like talking, you know, bashing Uber and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like they're not making a lot of money off of these uh, apps. I mean, like, it's like, damn, I was like, why are you guys so negative? It's like, is there anyone out there that's positive about this? Because mm -hmm. I was like, so I was looking around and then I found you and it's like, I was like two racks a week. I was like, dude, I got to listen to this guy. So I clicked in uh, and watched one of your videos. I was like, dude, I like this guy. He's inspiring. I like it. He's like a little, you know, it's like more motivation for me. Cause like, shoot, if people are making like two racks a week, I was like, man, I could do it too. Exactly, man. You know, I, I appreciate you for like clicking on the video and being open-minded because some people, uh, I'm not even sure if you had this, uh, opinion once you've seen some of my videos I'm like what man look how many hours he had to do or man this dude is lying he probably get paid for the company uh did you have any like negative opinions right away or are you just automatically like dang i like this guy it was just inspiring oh no no man i i already know it's like uh, it's stupid even enough for people to think that you you know mm. you, you work for the company it's like no you're you, you you have to sign up you get approved and that's it you know and you just right. you know you, you just turn on the app. It's not that hard. Right. It's right. it's not like saying, "Oh, Uber owns you." You know, it's like you you got to work for us now. It's no nothing like that. You you could turn off the app if you want to. You could take a you know a week off if you want if you made enough money. I yeah. mean, that's the beauty of it. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, it, 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 it's just ridiculous to hear people. You know, some people out there. I don't know. There could be bots, man, or you know, it's just they're naive. Who knows? Yeah, man. They just this nincompoops, poops, man. That's that's all they are. Just fixed minded. They in their own mindset and they just want to hate. So, you know, it is what it is. But prior to you, you know, being willing to accept a two racks a week challenge, uh, what was the most money <clears throat> that you made prior to this point? Like, have you made like two thousand dollars? Like, yeah, before or this is like the first. Oh, I, oh I made it before. I, uh, you know, okay. uh, you know how like uh, I don't, I don't know how long you. Uh, uh, drove for right you know like uh, the right chair mm -hmm. but like for me like uh when i did in 2016 you know how you, you could you, you didn't know where uh where it's taking you it's yeah just, exactly you it exactly yeah it's, so you just pray and hope you're going to a place that you don't want to go to <laughs> right and, you know it's sometimes you're kind of forced here like oh man it's like it's like i gotta take them like ready my car what can i do <laughs> right right but yeah you know those times because uber's uh bonuses were great mm -hmm. really great because you know um they, they'll show like you know if you do like 40 50 rides you make like 400 to uh, 600 dollars mm -hmm. if you finish uh, those quest bonuses but you know I, I like i don't know how your quest bonus is now mine is they, they give me like okay i have to make 400 dollars to get like uh, 150 bucks oh uh, yours is higher than ours yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, well, I, you know, I, it all depends on what, how the market is right now. Like if it's busy. So I know next week it's going to be crazy because they're going to have SEMA coming out mm -hmm. here. So I'm sure Uber is going to give out a bigger quest bonus for drivers out here. Okay. And it, uh, so like Lyft is competing, but I, I like Uber's way because if I get the big rides, I was like, dude, I can kill those uh, quest bonuses quick. Yeah. And um, I don't know why some people don't like it. I love it, man, because if it's four hundred dollars and I'm getting like thirty, forty dollar rides going only five miles, dude, I'll take those all day. Oh, hell yeah. What? 
Yeah, you, you know, sometimes like the traffic may be bad, like be like you'll, you'll be stuck in traffic for like forty minutes. Like, dude, that's forty, you know, forty minutes, and I made I, I made thirty bucks. Yeah. You know, it's like I said, there's no problem today. You know, the problem with people is they have they don't have patience for this. If you know, if you want, if you if you want to make a a the, a, a, um, the, a big amount of money uh, doing this, mm -hmm. you, you gotta you gotta cater to these people, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, you're doing a service and, you know, you know, it's like, don't treat this, you know, uh, it's just a, a regular job. You know, you, you're, you're, you're doing a full service, but not full service, but you do, you know, if it's old people, you gotta, you know, you gotta no, open the door. Service. Yeah. yeah. Open the door, you know, gotta put the wheelchair in the car, get the walker. Yes. Know, yes, sometimes. exactly. It's, it's, no, it's definitely, you know, a full service. So, you know, it's, it's not, yeah, you know what? It, I always tell people you have to have a personality when you have uh, when you do this kind of work because mm -hmm. if you don't you're you're not maximizing your your profits because me like uh on the weekend I got like uh three Canadians coming out here get this man they all tip like different uh different rights they tip me twenty dollars because they loved my service mm -hmm. and if you don't show that service you're you're you, you, you know, you're just you know like uh quiet all the time dude you're not you're 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 losing money yeah you're definitely losing money because dude I, I in tips alone i made almost like 300 dollars on the weekend Ooh. yeah that, that's that's what i'm saying it's like uh people don't realize that like you know what you you can't you know like you can't talk bad or anything i know it's like sometimes you want to see something but you can't because you know why they're going to report you you know, I've been reported, but it's for like the not dumbest thing. I got a two star just because I picked up this person because they met. See, this is a big red flag when you have to watch out for people. If they message you saying, "Hey, what's taking so long?" Yeah. That's when that's the time you cancel that ride because they're impatient and they're they're already pissed off and they, you don't know what they're gonna do next. So I picked them up. All I did was showed them, "Hey, hey." See, the traffic is pretty bad. You know, that, that's why it took me a while. So they marked, uh, didn't say anything to me. He marked me as rude. And I, I just, all I did was just show show him the, you know, yeah. the, the, the traffic was bad. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Right. But see, the, sometimes you just got to watch it because these people get offended sometimes, man. And you always got to watch these words. And I always tell people, you, you can't say something, uh, you know, like today's world, you know, you, you, you you say the dumbest thing, you know, people get offended so easily. I'm, bro, I got a story for that. So make sure <clears throat> you tune in on Monday. <clears throat> All right. Now, now, now let's, now let's get to it. People want to know exactly how many hours did you have to drive and how much money did you make? Yeah, I believe I, uh, with 30 hours with, uh, we call that Uber. I made what about like, uh, a thousand. I Yep, I can show them right now. Cause All right, yeah, show it to them. Hold on, let me adjust my camera so they can. Hey, get this. It's 30 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to adjust my camera right now so they can easily see it. So on, oops, there we go. All right, bam, y'all see it right there. So on Uber, it was 30 hours, 15 minutes for $1,387, and that's 64 trips. So uh, not too shabby. You know, that's pretty good numbers. And on Lyft, it was 21 hours, 42 minutes for $726. So um, if you add both of those together, that's about, we could just say uh, like 52 hours. So uh, yeah, congratulations, man. Like I always say, man, 60 hours, two racks a week, you made it in less than 60 hours. You know, so the opportunity is definitely, you know, out there, man. So absolutely, gonna, man. Absolutely. Yeah. So people gonna want to know, like, how do you go about, you know, your day? Like, as far as like making two thousand dollars, like, what is your mindset that you uh, take into doing this? Well, you know, the best times to actually drive is like early in the morning, as always. You know, I, I wake up around like five, five thirty. Mm -hmm. You know, get ready. By the time I get out of my house, I, I, I leave around like six o'clock. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like people are going to work and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I don't know if you ever dealt with the the, the Uber teen. So, you know, I, I use it. I mean, some people are scared. I mean, most of these teenagers, quiet, don't really say anything. Yeah, to they ain't cell phones. 
Yeah, yeah. It, I was like, I had no problems with them. You know, mm-hmm. you know what? Challenge yourself. You know, don't be scared. You know, just because you hear these people say, like, "Ooh, Uber Teen," like something's gonna happen. You know, that's like these kids sitting. The kids can't sit up front. You know, they're, they're gonna have to sit in the back. You, you always gotta let them know that. You know, it's like it's not that hard. It, 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 and they're they're pretty much quiet. You, you, they don't really talk to you. Right. I, I mean, some days they'll do. You know that. They, they just talk about school and stuff like that, but it's, it's nothing where it's like, they're going to, they're going to say something stupid, you know, and then right. you're, you're going to react to it. You got to, you got to know how to control yourself when you do uh, a job like this. Oh, absolutely. I can't see a job. So, you know, work like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I a hundred percent agree with that whole, you know, customer service aspect. And honestly, it's just a Uber team, just another arbitrary fucking term. Because most people, you know, if they got to go to work, like parents, they request an Uber for their kids to go to school. So it was already Uber teens. It's already teenagers using the service. So none of that really <clears throat> matters. So, but you uh, know what's crazy? What's mm-hmm. crazy is uh, I'm gonna let you know. Lyft is more popular than Uber here in Las Vegas. Oh, really? I get I get more requests from Lyft than Uber. It's okay. weird. Sometimes I, I I could have both of them on, and it's always Lyft hitting. And Lyft has a better payout than Uber. Mm. Yeah, so it's like uh, th- 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 I, I'm just surprised about that because like sometimes like Uber will give you like some really uh bad like uh you know like uh you no know, like less than a dollar a mile mm. on a certain you know certain rides. But you know what, I I, I accept them anyways because you know what I. I do get lucky because sometimes I get people that tip $5, $10, 15 I, There's a difference here, though. The people on Uber tip higher than Lyft. Mm. Okay. So th- th- that's that's the difference. And uh, we call it uh, Lyft. Yeah, you know, you, you get some decent tips, but Uber is the bi- uh, the biggest one out mm-hmm. here. And I don't know if you know, if like because you, you think of the plan and the move out here, right? Mm-hmm. So uh out here we're the only state that we have to have a uh business license oh, not okay. one you need two business license mm. to work out here okay yeah so yeah so that's that that's one thing you have to have here in las vegas it's, it's pretty funny that you know i, I guess because you, you get kickbacks as well too so you know marijuana shops uh strip clubs or you know um liquor stores you can actually get kick uh kickbacks for uh for those uh places Oh, okay, damn! I didn't know that. How much are the uh, those licenses? Uh, okay. So you know, I get a sole proprietorship. It, you know, mm-hmm. it it's two hundred dollars. Okay. And then uh, license or so total. You, uh, the the business license. Yeah, because you say you need two of them, so it's two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so board. okay, the uh, okay, the, the first business license is the state, and that's two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And then the county. It's uh the the fir- uh the first one is seven uh seventy dollars. Okay. And then the next year is is just twenty five a, okay. a year. Yeah. Right. Nice man. <clears throat> and and they're, and they're they're tax write offs too. So that's oh, of that's course. that's a good thing of about course. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice man. So you know, so you start off with the uh, the early morning start. You know, I think that's what a lot of people uh, do as far as you know getting their day started, started early, and have you tested any other times or pretty much the early morning start is like the key? Cause a lot of people think like Las Vegas shit never really ends. Yeah. You know what? Cause when I do the morning, I hit, uh, by the time I hit like maybe at 11 o'clock uh, in the morning, I already made a hundred plus mm. and it's always a hundred plus all the time. It's yeah. like, I don't, you know, I don't get less, you know, unless I start at like eight or nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't get like that $70, but, and then, um, it gets a little slow around like, you know, like lunchtime, like, tw- you, know, yeah. you know, 12 o'clock, but it, then it picks up, uh, at like one, it's like one to like five o'clock. Cause that's when people get enough of work. Mm-hmm. And that's when you make, that's when you make the, you know, the money right there. That's, that's, that's the bread and but- butter of that. Cause, um, uh, what I like is like on Lyft, you can use their proximity where you could just drive in a certain area. You 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 don't have to like go to the strip or anything. So yeah. you're just in one uh, area to just drive in and dude, I it's like see that only works at certain times. You gotta you have to 
make sure you're driving when it's busy and you gotta you can maximize it too because you can like when uh when you use that proximity thing from lyft you, you'll see the high rides come out like fifteen dollars twenty dollars and those are the ones you're like oh you know what if it's going in a, a right area dude i'm taking it so you know you, you just you just got to know where you're going too oh yeah man so, yeah, you know how, how many uh how many trips total do you have what combined? total trips uh combined that man um i believe i have like about like uh like almost like nine thousand with Uber, and then about like uh, six, seven thousand with uh, Lyft. Okay, nice. Yeah, because I can tell you a veteran driver because you know those strategies that you implemented, and you know a lot of people will see all this stuff on the internet as far as oh decline, decline, or you know do this, do it this way. But I'm a firm believer of you have to understand your market first, you know, to really maximize it. So if you do decline, it's like you know that you got to hire a chance or a higher probability to get a higher trip or get a trip that's will put you in better proximity to get better trips, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I always say sometimes, you know, people don't want to take those short rides, you know, I'll still take them if it's in a de uh, decent area. Cause you know what? I, I pick up most of them. Sometimes they, they tip me like $5, $3, yep. Four dollars and people are like missing out, and I, you know I always look at the rating too because mm -hmm. um, Uber, um, Lyft, you should not have a bad rating. And if the if yeah, I see like someone a four point oh, I'm like hell no, I ain't taking that ride, man. That's low. That's real, <laughs> yeah, man. and I I, I see and I was like what the hell? I, I won't take anyone that's uh, less than four point seven on Lyft. Yep, Uber, it's a different story. Dude, I, I pick up with people like 4.6, and they're still awesome people. I don't understand why people on Uber get rated uh, poorly versus Lyft. It, it, it's just weird. Yeah, it's like, you, man, you never uh, know. You never, because like, you know, that's cause one thing I about do, people. Everything is subjective. Well, I do find out from some writers, they tell me that because they'll order a ride for their friend, so it kind of screws, so they're, they're wasted, drunk, whatever oh, and so yeah. it kind of screws up their rating and they don't realize that's happening because a lot of people a lot of these people don't know that the uh us drivers can rate them as well too right and they they just think we don't they don't get rated so it, it doesn't matter to them right <clears throat> yeah you i 100 percent agree with that you most people they don't care they just get in uh get in get out <laughs> the car so you know a lot of times I'll, i barely pay attention to rating them uh unless they just like a, a real dick or whatever but that, that really just happens. <laughs> Even if they are dick, sometimes I still forget to rate them. I'm like, oh, dang, I should have gave them like a three star. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I want you to, you know, dive into, you know, pretty much compare and contrast, like you uh, being an Uber and Lyft driver compared to being a bus driver. You know, I want you to touch upon like the quality of life. Like how was like life now for you as far as like your happiness, uh, like, Thing, like the time that you have to yourself to pursue other endeavors, you know? You know, it, it, it's a, it, it's a bit better, man. I, I, I can tell you that. Cause, um, you know, at a job, you, you like, you can pour your frustrations and you're stuck there until the job is done. Yeah. At least when you do right share, you can get pissed off turn off the app, just chill out a bit, you know, just go somewhere, you know, just clear your mind. And that's the beauty of, uh, of this work kind of work. And then sometimes they're like, when you work for somebody, you, you have to see that person that you just hate. You're like, damn, man. I was like, I don't yeah. even want to see this person. You know, it's like, I, I just want to go home. At least here I could just drop off somebody, just chill out. Like, Sure, I can I can go home, just just hang out for a bit, and then later on I can go out and just like kill it. Yeah, you know, just yeah, you know, just get all that negative uh activity, you know, that's that's around you, and just release it. Yeah, man. I, yep, man. I, like, once again, I agree because it is definitely uh, a better quality of life to doing this because, like you said, if you had a job, especially if you hate it, which most people do, it's like they feel like they stuck. Like, and especially if yeah. you have to be there for eight, 10 hours, 12 oh. hours, it's like, you just jammed yes. up and like, damn, I'm ready to leave. And you know, what's crazy is, cause when you, when you do, 
we I, I don't know for you but for me when i do it i'm always happy i'm like yeah. i was like man it's like it's like oh it's like ooh, I, it's like i got a bigger bonus going i was like dude i'm gonna finish this quick it's like yeah i was like i'm almost there it's like you you get the, you get the excitement going it's like let me do a few, few rides and like dude i'm happy i'm, I'm set for the day yeah you know, on a job you're just like you, I, when i was like I, I used to work for a law firm as well too and god it was just so droggy when you had to see um five o'clock is like so far away and you're just like why is it taking forever right and when you do right chair, it's like dude i don't even care what time it is man i'm just gonna just get my work done and i'm i'm, I'm done yep and especially if you're having fun with it because it's like damn i've been online six hours already you know because you had a yeah. job you just waiting for the time to go by by like, man damn oh, i i had to be here for like four hours you look you're like damn two and a half hours like oh my god yeah you know i, I always see a difference though because like um some women ask me if they you know like should i do this i was like you know i, I get a little kind of scared for them too because uh you know, you just, I just say, don't pick up people on the, on the strip here. Cause you don't know what kind of characters you're going to get. Cause mm-hmm. I had one girl, she, uh, she, you know, she picked up these three guys and strip. She took them to uh downtown Las Vegas. And uh, we call it, uh, when she got to the uh, casino, they would say, Hey, is it all right if you can drop us off in the uh, back uh, by the uh, parking garage? She was fine. So she, she left the parking lot of the casino and um, one of the guys pulled a gun on her and like say, Hey, we're taking your car. So, you know, that, that you know, I, I get kind of scared for, you know, for women because, yeah. you know, some guys will take advantage, uh, you know, of that situation as well too. But, right. you know, I talked to her, she said um, it was so messed up. This is what uh, she was on Uber when this happened and was so mad. Uh, what made me mad is they banned her from using the app because they said that um, the reason why they banned her because she didn't use that help button that they had there. I'm like, dude, you have a gun on you. It, right, it, you don't really, have time to... Yeah, press that button. So you're like, hold on, excuse me. Let me go press that button real quick so I can call the cops. You know, it's like, really? And you know what? I, I used it for uh, for Lyft and because uh, someone rear-ended me like uh, uh, nine weeks ago and they took forever just to call 911. I said, forget it. So, someone already called 911 for me, and I already had a cop coming. I'm like, it's like, well, really? I say, and there's like, hold on, sir. We're still trying to contact, you know, the proper authorities. I'm like, I was like, don't worry. They're already coming. It's like, you don't have to call them anymore. Right. I said, that, that, that button is useless, man. It's useless. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad you said that because, uh, yeah, I don't. Well, I think most people really don't have too much experience using that button, you know, so it's kind of like a smoke grenade. It's like, oh, it sounds good in theory, but like, yeah. how, <laughs> you know, how optimal is it? Like, if you hit it, will it show up? How long would it take? And stuff like that. And like you said, man, if you got a firearm pulled on you, shit, you ain't gonna be like, oh, let me hit this button. You probably gonna be so like discombobulated, like, oh, just don't hurt me just take my car. Well, yeah, you know, a good thing now, she told me that she drives for Lyft and um, she told Lyft, hey, I'm going to be carrying a gun. I have a CCW and I'm just letting you know that at first she said Lyft was like a little sketch about it. Uh, this is because we used to have the hubs. I don't know if you had a hub. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have a Lyft hub. Yeah, but they took, they took it away here in Las Vegas. So we mm. don't have, you know, now we have to deal with their stupid chat thing, which is horrible. And so they said, hey, fine, okay, you know, like this happened to you, all right, you know, you got a CCW, no problem. So they they, they let her, uh, you know, conceal carry, you know, while driving. So, I mean, that, that's awesome. I mean, at least she's protecting herself. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to her, man. And <clears throat> that's number one thing is like, you know, none of this matters, but you got to be safe. You got to be aware of your situation. And sometimes, man, you got to stereotype and not pick up, you know, certain individuals. So. And I'm glad she's safe and, you know, got out yeah. of this and still able to, you know, earn a living from driving. Yeah, you just don't know who's crazy, man. That's that's the only thing. Or you don't need to know who's coming in your car. That's that's one thing as well, too. Because, you know, you we're always meeting strangers all the time when we pick up people. Yeah. Now, let's, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, let's get back to something a little bit, you know, a little bit more positive and. Yeah, all right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Man. Well, I won't. In your opinion, why do you think uh, 
this two racks a week challenge is, is important? You know what? Um, it challenges you too. And um, it r really uh, gives you a, a mindset of like, man, do hard work does pay off. Cause if you don't have that mindset and you're just, just throwing money uh, like you're like, Oh, I'll, I'll just work the, the next day. It just makes you lazy and, yeah. and it's hard. And then, you know, you're not productive. I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to it. Cause mm -hmm. when you work for yourself, it can either, you can either work hard or you can work less and that's going to make yourself even measurable, just even doing it. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like, I, I, you know, I always listen to motivational uh, videos all the time, every morning, YouTube. I was like, and I, and I hit it hard. I was like, dude, I'm going to challenge myself today. I'm going to, I'm going to hit this, you know, like 20 rides, you know, or I'm going to make this much. Yeah. I usually tell people I'm going to make around like three to $400 mm. on this day. And, and that's what I do. And I set my goal to it. Okay. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> and you're right. That's, that's exactly what the, the challenge is. You know, you got to push yourself. You made a, a good point because if you're doing this, it's all on you. So you could drive as much or drive as least amount of, as you want. And unfortunately, you know, most people take the path of least resistance, you know, like, uh, I'll start like an hour or, you know, uh, it's, it's not, it's no big deal. <clears throat> Maybe I watch this show where I procrastinate for like another hour or two and ultimately they end up doing nothing besides wasting a bunch of time. So most people cannot yeah, exactly the autonomy. So you have to, you know, push yourself and get in the habit of, you know, doing things that you don't want to do and, and that you're not comfortable with. So you could grow. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause you know, uh, I show people, man, I was like, maybe hopefully I can inspire them. Cause you know, there's even people with a, you know, like just working like a job and you're like, oh, I always got to ask this so much like, Hey, do you make pretty good money doing this? I said, it can. It depends. Uh, like, are you a hard worker? Because if you're not, this is going to beat you to the ground because you're, you're not going to last that long. Yeah. And uh, that's what I let them know, because you, you're going to have so much time, you know, do, uh, like, like, say, for instance, like, OK, it's like I'm going to wait till like, the, you know, the afternoon to drive. And then you're like, you know what? I'm home watching TV, Netflix. I, I'm stuck on the show. No, it's it's going to eat you, man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, 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 I, I see that it has happened to me before. And I'm like, I was like, man, I really got to push myself because you know what, if I don't do it, the bills aren't going to be paid, you know? And I was like, you know, I, I, I was like, I got to do this. You know, it's, it's the mindset and the hustle. You, you, you gotta learn, you know, like you gotta learn to uh, let these things go. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know, that's, that's how I see it. Yeah. You definitely have to let them go because they are uh, detrimental to your success. And, um, you know, one last question before we get up out of here. Um, <clears throat> why do you think people don't make two racks a week? You know, we, we already explained it. You know what? They're either lazy. They're not challenging themselves. They they, um, they, they need a little motivation, maybe. Um, or they, 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 don't, they can't make it in their market. But, you know, you got to see your market because – if, if you, um, you got to test like at least drive eight hours. If you're not making more than a hundred dollars, I mean, you're in the wrong market. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's all, it's all about market. Las Vegas is great. It, you're, you're in one big bowl and you don't have to go that far. And that's, what's great about the city. You, you don't have to go too far. I mean, the farthest, uh, uh, town I had to go to was Pahrump, which is 45 minutes away from here. Mm -hmm. that's the farthest and like other than that i mean like sometimes you'll make great money going out there but you know i could pick up anyone going back to las vegas right. so you you got to learn how to plan yourself if it's you know the right thing to pick but know your market know where you're driving like say for instance for me i don't like driving the strip i avoid it at all costs because <laughs> i lose a lot of money yeah if i if i pick up people because i'm not going to pick up somebody that's going three miles and I'm only getting $5 off of it. And I'm stuck in traffic for like 40 to, to an hour. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Mm. And uh, what's crazy is I, I, I actually used an Uber, this girl, she was new. She's only been out for 18 days and she goes, Oh, I got to accept all these rides. Cause uh, I, I hate it. Cause I have to go to the strip. I said, you know, your symptom rates doesn't matter. It's like, 
I, my my symptoms are horrible. And I showed it to her. She goes, "Really?" I said, "Yeah, because if you if you're going by that, you're just screw you're you're just up for failure on doing this because people don't take advantage of you know like of the opportunities because sometimes yeah I do reject like four because you know what there could be a bigger one there's like a fifteen you know, $50 ride, $20 ride, shoot, you just missed and you took a $4 ride. That's going to take 30 to 40 minutes. Mm. And you, that's going to, that's going to screw you up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. That's, that's some good game because, you know, and, that, and that's where experience come in and, uh, shit. I didn't even know that. Cause I, in my head, I'm like, yeah, damn, you- the strip It's like, oh yeah, it's probably hot, but you also got to consider the traffic. And you're like, nah, what'd you say? No strip, no trip. <laughs> Yeah, strip, no trip, man. Strip, no trip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so if y'all live out there, man, if it's strip, no trip. Yeah, and that's, you know, stuff like that, <clears throat> it's all going to be like a learning game. So when you, uh, if you are new, you definitely going to learn. And that's what one of the benefits about testing yourself and being out there so you can learn these lessons early. Because if you're not out there, then – Shit, how can you develop some type of, you know, consistency in doing this? Yeah, exactly. You know what? I always say learn your market and mark down places where you don't want to go because, you know, sometimes you don't want to go to a bad area and, you know, you you can avoid that place at all costs. So I always say, you know what? I don't like going to North Las Vegas and I'll I'll reject every ride that goes. Sometimes I'll take, you know, take it all depends on their uh their rating you know because sometimes like the people in north las vegas they, they, they don't got a really good rating you know <laughs> yeah, so you but know. you know I, yeah, yeah so yeah yeah but you know i i do like because if you want quick rides and you're trying to get like a say a lift bonus done north las vegas is probably like the best place to like get short rides okay and, uh yeah so that you know that's how i see it as well too but sometimes you get some sketchy characters as well too wow, while you're out there <laughs> man i already know man <laughs> and one last thing eric before we get up out of here man just leave them with a couple words of it you know encouragement because there's a lot of people who can be watching this who's like skeptical about doing it or have been doing it, haven't made you know two racks a week like what would you tell those individuals oh uh, you know what don't don't let people discourage you from doing this you know, if you love driving, if you love talking to people, I, I believe this is like the the best thing. And you know what? I always say, don't don't do this as a career, as a stepping stone. And you know what? Uh, do what you love, man. I mean, uh, th- that's that's the main thing. You know, it, you know, invest in yourself. That's how I see it. Because if you don't, you're going to be struggling for the rest of your life. Man, those are those are valid points, and it is a stepping stone because, you know, like like we uh, agree earlier, people they watch you know content, especially me, other creators who does have like a positive message, and they'll try to shame. Oh man, you look, you just you a slave, uh, you just making them money, yeah. you work for the company, but it's like I don't view it that way. I view it like you said, it's like a stepping stone to get to the next level and pursue things that I'm that I want to do. And those are the type of those are the type of people that never challenge themselves. You know what? They're the ones that are being controlled. Because when you work at a job, what you always do, you rush. If you're gonna be late, oh, I gotta get yep. to work. I gotta get to work. Oh, I gotta do this. Yeah. This project could be done. It's like I don't have to worry about that. Yep. It's like I could take my time. People tell me, "Hey, can you drive a little faster? Because yep. I'm gonna be late for work." I go, "Yeah, no problem. I I, I just I just drive the speed limit." I'm like, "I'm not listening to your ass." Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, Brad, it's funny because I had the exact same situation Monday. The guy, you know, I picked him up. He had an appointment. I said, "Man, Lyft said it'll be there at night." So, what's the ETA? I'm like, "Nah, nine o four. It said it'll be there. Lyft said it'll be there nine o." Nine o'clock. <laughs> then you start blaming the app. I'm like, bro, it's your responsibility to get there on time. I'm like, how you gonna yeah, blame it, the app? Absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely, man. I get it all the time, man. I'm just like, I just go whatever, you know? And you know, yeah. I, I just pretend to make it look like I'm driving fast, but I'm not, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I might you speak all to you the have... light a little bit. That's about it. Yeah, I say <clears throat> all I tell them is like, sure, no problem. I don't challenge just like, oh, I can't drive fast because you know then you, it's gonna you, you're gonna get a negative outcome. I just I just agree with them, whatever. Yeah, exactly. And you know, yeah, because that if if you try to challenge somebody, you, you're just making it even worse for yourself. 
you know, I always tell these people, I'm like, dude, don't, don't argue with people because you're just going to make everything worse on that ride. Uh, I say, just drop, just, <laughs> yeah, just drop them off and, and just get, pick them this next person because the next ride is going to be even better. Yep. Yeah, that's, man, that's the, like, uh, expert and veteran advice because it, it can be, like, you can get to a big argument and they'll just make the, the experience worse off for both of you all. Then you at the, the realm of them reporting you, saying some some garbage, so. Uh, you know what, though? The, the biggest thing <clears throat> is some people will talk politics and you try to avoid it, but sometimes you, you just, you know what, I ease, I ease it out and, you know, like, I, I'll get like, you know, they, they have Trump Tower here. I got these two women just flipping the bird, like cussing the, you know, the crap out of them. I'm like, I was like, really? I was like, dang, you, 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 you hit that guy so bad. What the hell did he do to you? I'm like, it, it's just amazing to me, man, with some of these people. And you know what? When I talk to like someone like, you know, like con on the conservative side, I started to go pol political here. I do get bigger tips. I, it, it's amazing because when you when you, when he started agreeing with you, if people don't realize this, people it, um, people will love you even more. I, I talk to a liberal; they always seem miserable, and it's like they hate life. And it's like I'm like sorry. It's like it's like, dang, why are you making the ride so negative? I'm like, it's like I, I try to put a positivity out for them, you know. But it's just. It, it's just it is what it is man it's oh like God. but you know what I, I don't try to say oh, i'm for trump or you know or this mm. i i just i'm just neutral at, you know at that time see you you, <laughs> but you when, much you much better than me man because i i've just openly say it but hell yeah i like trump you know maybe that's my problem see i have a problem of shutting up sometimes because i hear i 100 percent agree with you saying once again because i hear all the time especially out here i'm in one of the most liberal areas in a nation so yeah people said san francisco right <laughs> i said dude that's crazy. tough man <laughs> yeah I, I don't know how you're doing it man i, I i'm surprised like no one no one breaking your car <laughs> i'm always in it but it hasn't happened yet <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey, you know what like i said man you come out here you're not gonna have that problem bro you're not gonna know. have that problem man I'm yeah i know it but man, dang, this, this was a great interview. I want to, you know, thank you once again. Congratulate you for hitting two racks a week. Hey, shout thank you, man. Eric. appreciate you, man. You know, shout out thank to you. Las appreciate Vegas, you, the very first person, you know, to come on from Vegas. Hey, maybe you'll set the trend. Maybe more people will see this. Oh, Vegas. I live in Vegas. I can make two racks. So, Yeah, shoot. Hopefully. You know what? Uh, hopefully this, this information will help out other drivers as well, too. Because, you know, um, there's people that still lost and they're, they're they're, they're, they think they have to take all these, accept every ride that goes to the strip. I was like, no, you don't have to do that. Mm. It, it's like uh, there's there's good rides out there, and you know you got to take advantage of it. Hey, I said take those short rides, but if it's if it's worth it, it you know, like if it's going to only be like 10, 15 minutes, <clears> take <throat> it. You just never know. It it could lead to a really good tip, and like I, I say about like maybe seventy percent, I get tipped uh, each day, man it's yeah. it, it's awesome yeah it's 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 not like uh we call it do i i most of the time people tip me cash mm. and it, and it's awesome man. and i and i so i can't say no to that you know hell no nah. why would you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah why would you say no like, sure. I was like yeah i gladly gladly take that no problem you know i said yeah. thank you so much i appreciate you <laughs> exactly man same here man but uh shout out to las vegas here we have it once again. This is number 69. So uh, we get close oh, to good 70, number. like I said. <laughs> right. Good number. <laughs> we getting close. We getting close to we're gonna be at 70, hopefully by the by next week. It's a guy we scheduled. So next week we should be at 70. So we're getting closer to the hundred, the century mark. So that'll be big. Maybe I'll celebrate once you get a hundred. We don't know. I'll let y'all know. But Ronnie Speed over and out. Mr. Two Racks a Week or Two Racks a Week. Drum roll. All right, man. Guitar, piano, violin. Ronnie Speed, over and out. Holla back. Two Racks a Week.
Peace. Racks a week, racks a week. Ronnie Speed, yeah, Ronnie Speed. Speed 60 hours.